Seven, six, five, four, three, two.
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812 Six two zero zero seven six nine. Again, that is eight one two six two zero zero seven six nine. Farmer owned, farmer values. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227. 227-9421 or just visit our website. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. If you 
Killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so... I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it, too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk. They hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. 
Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Welcome to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the West Washington Senators take on the Lanesville Eagles today in a matchup <clears throat> for a spot tonight in the championship game. Northeast Dubois was uh, victorious in their opening round game, 50 to 28 over the Tecumseh Braves. So they will be in the championship game. Um, the JV Senators also were victorious in their opening game which was played at 10 o'clock this 10 30 this morning um so they're in the jv championship game of this tournament so the uh, varsity boys looking to join those people in the championship games they take on the lanesville eagles who are 0 and 7 looking for their first win of the year for first year head coach kyle brown um they just haven't been able to get it kind of rolling yet this year the senders two and four on the year uh, both of those wins coming over Salem the last time the uh, Senators were out. They were victorious over Salem 52-46 in that holiday tournament hosted at Borden. Um, and then they went four losses in a row before that um, when then they beat Salem 49-37 there at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on um, West Washington's campus. So the Senators looking to get a win today over Lanesville. Um, you know, this is a, a interesting game because it is a Friday at midday, so it's not, um, you know, the, the normal uh, kind of game time for the boys to be playing. So um, interesting to see how the boys come out and what they're going to, um, you know, be able to do here with the, the kind of odd matchup time. If they do win this, they will play at 7.30 tonight against Northeast Dubois. Um, if they aren't able to get the win, then they will play at 6 o'clock in the consolation round. We're getting ready for our starting lineups. And West Washington Senators. West Washington will be the home team on the scoreboard, and Lanesville will be the guest on the scoreboard. Let's meet the starters. First for the guest on the scoreboard, the Lanesville Eagles. Starting at guard, number two, Braden Hodges. Lanesville going to go with number two, Braden Hodges. Starting at guard, number 13, Gene Klusman. Also number 13, Gene Klusman. Starting at guard, number 24, Lyman Campbell. 24, Landon Campbell. Starting at forward, number 32, Jackson Payne. Jackson Payne. Starting at forward, number 44, Ben Austin. And number 44, Ben Austin. The Senators go with their normal starting lineup. Number three, the senior, 5 guard, Jackson Cameron, averaging two rebounds. 
Joining him in the backcourt is Kenton Chase, the 5'9 senior, averaging 10 points, three rebounds. The third guard in their three guard set is freshman Holden Russell, 5'11, averaging three points, three rebounds. Then in the front court, they go with number 12, Ian Rosenbaum, the 6'5 senior, averaging 12 points, eight rebounds. And Titan Williams, number four, six foot four inch senior, averaging six points and four rebounds. So those are our starters for today. Looks like Titan Williams and 32. Jackson Payne going to do the jumping. We're underway. Neither one of them able to control it. Payne grabs it on the bottom side. So we're going to go back and re-jump that one. <laughs> A little bit of clock. Uh, action here, they're, they're going to reset it, I believe, to eight minutes, which is what we should have up there. There we go. Now we're ready. Do it again. Payne controls that one all the way to Rosenbaum, who gets the first bucket of the day. Nice job there, Ian Rosenbaum. Kitten Chase picks up in the full court. Uh, Hodges doing their ball handling. Looking to get it to Kluzmeyer out top. Rosenbaum comes down the lane, gets his hand on it to block it, but we're going to pick up a foul on Jackson Cameron. It's going to be his first personal. Hodge is going to go to the line where he's a 75% free throw shooter on the year. First one up and good. Cuts the lead in half, 2-1. Back to the line again for his second attempt. That one up and good. Tie ball game. Holden Russell brings the ball up off to Kenton Chase. Back to Russell looking in the middle to Rosenbaum. Nothing there. One power dribble in the lane up and good again in the lane for his second bucket of the night. Hodges gets it across half court. Hands it off to Kluzmeyer. Kluzmeyer, a couple of dribbles towards the baseline, then back out top. Rosenbaum and Payne battling down in the paint. Lanesville going to set up their offense again. Rosenbaum going to pick up that foul all over the back of Payne. So going to be his first foul. Senators already with two personals in this quarter. Only a minute and 15 gone. Comes all the way into Campbell. Campbell backdoor pass to Hodges, who gets that first bucket for them. Sorry, second bucket for them. Cameron out on top of round two. Chase back to Cameron for three. That one hits all kinds of rim, but unable to go through. Rebounded by Lanesville, back the other way. Hodge goes to Austin. Out to Payne around the three-point line to Kluzmeyer. Kluzmeyer direct in traffic. Campbell around to... Austin, sorry, Austin, the ball out top. Hand it off. We're going to get a foul out top on Kenton Chase, I believe. That's the third personal for the Senators. Score is 4-4 four to four here. Inbounded to Hodges. Hodges off to Kluzmeyer. Nothing going there. Payne out. Goes underneath. Going to be a turnover on Lanesville. Unable to get that one fed to the post. In comes Colton Brown for Titan Williams. Brown, the 5'10 freshman, averaging four points a game. Kenton 
Chase out on the logo over to Russell. Back to Chase, thinks about a three for a second, nothing there. Lanesville in a 2-3 zone. Senators set up with their guards out top. Colton Brown back to Cameron, to Russell in the paint. Senator turnover there, Holden Russell throws that one away. Nice job by Campbell to bring it up. Then nobody's guarding Campbell on the other end. Campbell up and good for two. Makes it 6-4 Lanesville. Senators almost turned over again. Colton Brown, nice jumper there for him to get going. Going to get another foul on Kenton Chase. In comes Hayden Morrow and Titan Williams back in for Ian Rosenbaum and Kitten Chase. Underneath, unable to get that one. Senators come out with it. They swing it to Cameron. Cameron to Colton Brown. Brown, no good for three. Rebounded out the other way. Senator's going to have to go without their senior point guard. Turnover for Lanesville. Jackson Cameron going to catch it in an awkward position and walk with it. Two turnovers apiece for each of these teams. 3.53 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Hodges with the ball out top. Then check Nolan Hall at the last uh, timeout. Colton Brown gets his hand on that one to knock it out of bounds over top of Kluzmeyer. Hodges doing the ball handling there. Comes off to Hall. He finds a nice cutter down the lane, which is Kuzmeyer, great bucket for him. 8-6, Eagles. Russell comes up off to Brown. Back to Russell on the logo. Swings it to Morrow. Cutter through the middle is Ian Rosenbaum. Couple of dribbles, step back three for him. That's no good. Sets it back up in their offense. Hodges out, to, out top picked up by Morrow now that Kenton Chase is on the bench with his two fouls. Down in the post, Rosenbaum walls straight up. But Campbell able to knock that one in. Four point lead for the Eagles. Step down the lane, up, and good for his first bucket of the night. Sorry, his third bucket of the night. He's got six. Russell leaves it off for Rosenbaum for three. That one no good, but Morrow there to rebound it. Rosenbaum again for three. That one no good. They're going to be tipped out of bounds. Cameron comes back in for Russell. We're going to get a 30-second timeout. We're going to step aside, take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. 
Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to action here at Northeast Studios where the Senators do trail 12 to 6 over the lane to the Lanesville Eagles. Um, Senators sloppy first quarter of play here. They've got to get uh, their turnovers under control. Russell to inbound the ball. Comes into Colton Brown. Russell in the lane to Titan Williams. Williams one dribble. Off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum with his feet crossed up. It's in the lane, up, no good, gonna pick up a foul. I believe they're gonna give that to Nolan Hall. Yep, Hall gonna pick up his first personal, the first personal for Lanesville in the quarter. So, Rosenbaum gonna go to the line where he's a 52% free throw shooter. That one up and good for him. Gives him five in the quarter. Payne comes in for Campbell. There's Mom again at the line. That one good. He's got six of the Senators' eight. Senators going to come out in a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press. Lanesville breaks it easily. They come back and set up their offense. Lanesville content to run their offense 30 feet from the bucket. So they're starting all the way out with uh, their stuff on the logo. So they may be holding for the last shot here also. Thought about a three there from Kuzmeyer. Guernsey also checked into the game the last break. He gives it off to Kluzmeyer. 30 seconds left to go. Payne looks to take Rosenbaum. Nothing there, so it's going to be a turnover for Lanesville. In comes Hayden Morrow for Holden Russell. Two seconds to go here in the first. Comes across half court to Morrow, over to Williams, who gets a bucket. Nice bucket there for Titan. Nice ball movement by the Senators. Seven seconds. Nice flip up there by Hodges. Not going to go. Rosenbaum's full court shot, also not going to go. So a two-point miss there for the Eagles to um, in the first quarter. We're going to step aside for a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the Senators do trail by two to the Lanesville Eagles 10 to 12. First quarter shooting, if we look at free throws and two point attempts, the Senators are perfect. The problem is they're 0 of 5 from three. So they've got to uh, start knocking down some of those three point shots. Eagles yet to take a three point attempt. They are five of seven from two point range though for 71%. Eagles going to inbound the ball. 
Once again, Hodges doing a majority of the ball handling out top. Gives it off to Nolan Hall. Deep two-point bucket by Payne for his two first two of the day. Senators turn that one over. Hall with a jumper, that one no good. Russell there for the rebound. Leaves it off for Cameron. Cameron step into that three, it's no good. Lanesville comes back the other way. Guernsey with a crossover on Russell, unable to get by him. Much quicker pace here to this quarter. Titan Williams, nice layoff there by Holden Russell. Cuts the lead to two. Senators in their press here, trying to speed Lanesville up, goes into the corner. All one dribble and then down low to Payne who gets his second bucket. Lead pushed out to four, 6.32 left to go here in the first half. Brown to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum with a wide open Russell out on the three point line, but gets fouled before he gets there. It's gonna be the first, now gonna be the first foul on Guernsey. Russell to inbound the ball, comes into Titan Williams down the lane. That one's no good. Guernsey for three. Left off Brown with the rebound. Fast hands by Hodges, who knocks that one out of bounds. Senator's going to reset the sidelines out of bounds. Russell out top, turns that one over. Hodge is going to drive at Russell. Nice step around, nothing there. Hall missed it also. Rosenbaum with the leak out two point bucket, cuts the lead to two again. Lanesville goes over the top. Hall with his two point bucket. Back and forth we go. Russell up the floor, off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum over to Williams. Russell three point attempt, that one good. Cuts the lead to one. Senators staying in their press. 5.13 to go here in the first half of play. Russell with the steal off to Cameron. Good two point bucket for him. Senators take the lead. We're gonna get a full timeout here. So we're gonna step aside, have a commercial from Sullivan Financial and be back in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the Senators do have a one point lead over the Lanesville Eagles. Uh, Senators really have sped the Eagles up this second quarter. Lanesville already has 14 shot attempts in this first half. They only had seven going into this quarter, so that means they've taken seven shots in just a little over two minutes of play. Lanesville going to take the ball out under their own bucket after the make there by Jackson Cameron to give the Senators a one-point lead. 
Lanesville gets it into the middle of the court. That's what you want to do against this press. Comes over to Payne. Back out top to Kluzmeyer. Off to Hodges, gonna do the direction here, get the players moving in the way that they want for their offense. Payne turns and looks at the baseline, nothing there. Senators in a 2-3 zone. Hodges directing traffic once again. Gives it off to Payne at the top of the key. Back to Austin. They work it around underneath the hall, all the way out to Ben Austin, who knocks down his first bucket of the day. It's a three-point make. Cameron had an open three, decides to pull it down, goes for a two instead. That one no good. So Senators held the lead there for about 40 seconds. They're back down to 21-19. Laysville breaks the press easily this time. Couple of dribbles, Payne with Rosenbaum on him. Lots of action there for the Eagles, but unable to knock anything down. It comes all the way up to Brown, who then kicks it off to Rosenbaum. Sends it around to Cameron, back to Russell. Put Brown for three. Bang. Gives him five on the day. Senators pull to a one-point lead. Eagles turn that one over. Going to be their fifth turnover of the first half. 3-11 left to go. Senators with a one-point lead. Lanesville going to bring Hodges back in. Down the ball and bring it up the court with Russell. And he's working around the perimeter. Holding Brown for three again. That one no good. Titan Williams knocks it out. Russell at the elbow misses that one. Williams there with the rebound. Up and good for him. And Williams with six. Hodges oh, still trying to get the offense moving. Blainesville has three guys standing around. They'll swing it out top to Austin. Austin, a couple of dribbles down the lane, leaves it off to Hall. Hall leaves that one short. Russell with the rebound. They're swinging around Rosenbaum. A couple of dribbles, leaves it off to Williams. Comes over to Brown. Brown for three. That one way long. Senators up three. 156 left to go. Nobody there down the lane. Like a miss for Lanesville. Rosenbaum clears it out. Leaves it down to Williams. Williams off to Russell. One dribble. Goes up strong. Nothing going. Call with that rebound. in the corner and out top to Austin. Austin for a deep three. That one no good. Rosenbaum with that rebound. Senators 10 rebounds in the first half of play. Two Lanesville's nine. Minute 15 to go here. Senators swing it around on the top. Comes back to Russell. Russell for three. Bang. Holden Russell, six points on two, three point makes Senators up six, 27, 21. Hodges looking for somebody to get the ball to. Comes out top to Kluzmeyer. Kluzmeyer gives a drive down the line, nothing there. Underneath to Austin, gets taken away, turnover. Lanesville ahead to Cameron 
Off to Rosenbaum, Rosenbaum for three. Draws nothing, Russell there to get his hand on it, not able to come out with it. So Lanesville clears. They're gonna bring it across half court and we're gonna get a timeout here, a 30 second timeout. We're gonna step aside for a commercial break and be back in just a moment. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Back here to Action at Northeast New Boys, where the Senators do lead by 6, 27-21 over the Lanesville Eagles. Got 17.8 seconds left to go here in the first half. Lanesville going to hold for the final shot. Austin in the corner, back out top to Hall. Swings it back to Hodges, nine to go. Hodge, deep three, that one no good. So we're going to end our first half of play. Lady, or sorry, not Lady Senators. The Senators boys are leading 27-21. The Eagles do get five players in the scoring column. Sorry, six players in the scoring column. Uh, Nolan Hall has two. Hodges has six. Kluzmeyer has two. Campbell has two. Payne has four. And Ben Austin has three on that long three-point make that he had. The Senators, Jackson Cameron has two points. Titan Williams with six. Holden Russell with six on his two three-point makes. Ian Rosenbaum with eight. And Colton Brown with five. Both teams are two of two from the free throw line for 100%. The Senators are eight of 12 from two-point range for 67%, where the Eagles are eight of 16 for only 50%. Three-point shooting, neither team really too hot here. The Senators are 3 of 12 for 25%, while the Eagles are 1 of 6 for 16%. So overall, the Senators shooting, they are 11 of 24 for 45%, where the Eagles are 9 of 22 for 40%. Rebounds, even, 10 apiece. Turnovers, I had the Senators for 5 and the Eagles for 6. So that is our first half stat breakdown. We will be back for second half action after we hear a word from the commissioner of the IHSAA. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly discussion with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Paul, holiday season is here a little bit of break in the action, if you will, for boys and girls basketball and swimming and wrestling and and winter sports. And um, it's a great time of year for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is that things are going well in the winter sports season for everyone. They are, Coach, and it's been a, you know, we've talked before, it's been a phenomenal fall, and, and winter's been perfect, too, and so far the weather has uh, left us alone. Old Mother Nature has uh, made a, made, don't, had a, sent a few little snow flurries our way, but schools are still uh -huh. playing, and, you know, we've had, a, we've had a great year, Coach, and it's just phenomenal, but you know how it is. Any time that student-athletes are in a gym <laughs> with their coach, um, Mm -hmm. You know, learn with their teammates, learning how to grow up in life a little bit and take skills with them to the next phase. And it's a great day for me. And that's, I don't, I don't really, wins and losses don't matter. It's about the lessons that are left when the day is over uh, and the participation is over for these kids. And so, yeah, we've had a great year so far. 
I think, you know, with the perspective of being at, at our particular age, as we, we were able to look back and, and think fondly on those days. I mean, I'm, I miss those two a days. I miss being in the gym, you know, with my teammates and everyone. I, I just miss the whole thing because it was such an important part of our lives. And you know, it's the same thing with the kids out there right now. I mean, you, you value these opportunities because you won't have them forever. And um, they'll go by quicker than you can even begin to imagine. They do, and you know we'll, we'll 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 pull out the old guy status here, coach. And you know, and I when I have a chance to talk to kids every once in a while, and when you're you're 18 years old, the number of rebounds you get uh, <laughs> or number of points you get matters a lot. Uh, but as you walk into the next phases in life, the those things you forget about those. And I couldn't, mm-hmm. you know, I can't tell you uh, uh, how many points I scored against two anymore. But I can tell you that <laughs> the lessons that I mm-hmm. learned are are with me, uh, and they're, they they speak to me louder today at sixty years old than they ever did at eighteen years old. And and I would tell you that I get to do what I do because of a great transformational education based <laughs> coach such as yourself in my life. Well, I value that, too. I benefit from that like a lot of people. All right, it's that time of year where we can go watch. You want to go watch a wrestling tournament? You want to go watch a swimming uh, invitational and watch see great great young men and women in the water having fun basketball tournaments everywhere you know this has become a really fun time of year for people schedule wise because you can schedule out of area schedule some teams uh that may be a little bit bigger than you maybe a little bit better than you and when the, you don't have that opportunity every year to do it so it's a it's a very valuable time of year in addition to getting a little bit of time off but it's also important in terms of putting the building blocks together to try to win championships it is. It's it's an opportunity to get better, and getting better means you may take a few lumps over this time of year. And just like you said, coach, yeah. you gotta you gotta try a few new things. You've also gotta you gotta ramp your schedule up. You know, you've got to be able to play teams that are are better than you believe you are right now to challenge your skills, to challenge your 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 team to see. Okay, this is if I want to get the hardware at the end of the year. I've got to be able to beat these teams, and you need to go out and experience that during the regular season if you're ever going to to make it to the crescendo of this at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, home of the Pacers, at the end of the year. Do you think you'll be able to get any Christmas presents this year for being as nice as you've been? Is this going to be one of those good years for you on Christmas Day? (laughs) Coach, it's always a debate, you know. It's one of those things that it, I'll never know until that morning. Uh, you know, I'll walk down and, and see what's there under the tree on Christmas morning, and then I'll know what kind of year I've had. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, you know, it's it's such a blessing time of year. And I tell you what, with five grandkids, or four grandkids now, it's just, I'm so excited to, to get home, spend a little downtime, and watch those kids enjoy the Christmas season. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. 
We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back to live action here at Northeast Dubois where the Senators do lead 27-21. We're about a minute 45 away from uh, the start of the second half of play. I'm sure we're going to see Kenton Chase back on the floor. Um, he was sidelined in that first half with two personals. Going to give a shout-out to uh, Steele's Barbershop and Chase Cummings for the, uh, the picture that he posted watching Senator basketball. They're in the shop while they're uh, giving haircuts, so fresh fades and Senator basketball can't ask for anything more on a, on a, a chilly Friday uh, midday. Um, you know, kind of a, an odd time for basketball. Uh, 12.30 tip, you know, that's so that you can fit the whole um, tournament into one day. But big shout out to him. He is the nephew of Senator Head Coach Jamie Cummings. So Senators back on the floor ready for the second half of play. Like I said before we took our break there, the Senators were led in scoring by Ian Rosenbaum with eight. And then Holden Russell knocked down uh, two threes to give him six and Titan Williams chipped in six in that first half of play. So uh, pretty balanced scoring for the Senators. One Senator who hasn't got on the scorecard yet is Kenton Chase. Like I said, with his two personals, he was unable to spend very much time on the floor. Um, the Eagles led in scoring by Brandon Hodges, their six-foot junior, who averages almost nine a game. He's got six in the first half, so the, the Senators have done a pretty good job on him. Um, other than that, they've had two players get four points. That's Landon Campbell, the senior, who only averages half a point a game. He was able to get four. And then Jackson Payne, the 6'2 junior, who averages five, he got four in the first half. So um, the second half, I'm going to bet that the Senators are going to try to play this at a much higher pace um, than what they played the first quarter. Second quarter was a pretty high pace. Um, my bet is Jamie Cummings, the, the Senator head coach, is going to continue with that high-speed pace with that press, trying to speed this game up a little bit. So Rosenbaum inbounds the ball to Kenton Chase. Senators back with their original starting five. Jackson Cameron for three, bang! Knocks that one in, gives him five. Lanes go quickly to the other end. That ball tipped away by Russell. Leaves it off to Cameron, back to Kenton Chase. Chase up, misses the two, but snags his own rebound. It's another three by Holden Russell. Lanesville setting up their offense. Nice power dribble gets down in the lane against Titan Williams. Titan goes up and gets the block, though. Swing it down in the paint to Hodges. Hodges nowhere to go with it. Kicks it back out to Kluzmeyer. Kluzmeyer at the top of the key. They go over the top. Rosemont able to come out with that rebound off the Lanesville miss, but then on the – trying to go the other way, then turns it over as they try to get it to Jackson Cameron. Lanesville going to take it out on the side here. 6.40 to go, 33-21, Senators ahead. Like I said, the JV Senators were victorious in their game, so they're going to play in the championship at 6. Northeast Blue Boys won the first game of this tournament, 50-28 to over Tecumseh. Lanesville going to take a timeout. That's a 30-second timeout, so we're going to step aside, have a commercial break, and be back in just a moment. 
In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. Back to action here where Lanesville does get the ball inbound. Senators sitting in their 2-3 zone. Gonna make Lanesville try to shoot him out of it. Jackson Cameron, nice active hands. Another turnover there for Lanesville. Kenton Chase down the lane, leaves it off to Rosenbaum, around to Cameron. Titan Williams at the free throw line, leaves it back to Russell. Russell tries to go down the lane, nothing going. Rosenbaum, reverse pivot, nothing there again. Nice job by Lanesville to stop that drive. Kenton Chase down the lane, good and one opportunity for the 5'9 senior. I said it as we went into this half. Kenton hadn't gotten into the scores column yet. Well, now he has. So, Titan Williams to check out. Colton Brown comes in. Kenton Chase is a 74% free throw shooter on the year. That one no good. Senators drop back into their zone. There's a three-point shot from Lanesville. They miss. Senators out the other way. Kenton Chase off running. Comes back out top to Russell. Russell jab step. Then gets his two-point attempt blocked. So Lanesville going to get it coming back the other way. 5-19. Senators up 14 here. Nice job by Lanesville to get it to the, center, to the center of the court and then back out on the wing. See 23, uh, Harrell into the game. Senators with another rebound off a of Lanesville miss. Rosenbaum steps into a three, but nothing going there. Coach Cummings says, bring it back out, set up the offense again. Brown looks on the wing around the Cameron. Cameron misses that one. Hill gets the rebound. Turnover from the Eagles. Brown off to Cameron. Cameron lays it in for two, gives him seven. Down the lane, Ian Rosenbaum gonna pick up that foul. He reached in at the last second as Hall tries to get to the rim. So Hall gonna step to the line where he is an 80% free throw shooter. That one no good. Kenton Chase missed the free throw for the Senators to break their perfect streak. And then Nolan Hall steps to the line at the other side and misses to break Lanesville's perfect streak. That one's no good also. Titan Williams out with the rebound. Head to Colton Brown, pump fake. Colton thinks about a step back three, nothing going there. Kenton Chase sets up the offense again. Russell, nice hesitation, nothing going. Turnover for the Senators. Meyer gets it across half court. Off to Hodges. Hodges is going to set up the offense. Oh, 
Nice bucket there by Harold. His first two of the afternoon. Hit and chase back across half court. Off to Russell. Chase in the corner goes baseline. Nothing there. Leaves it off to Titan Williams. Williams misses the layup. Colton Brown gets his hand in. Oh, going to pick up a foul there on Colton. His first, second of the quarter for the Senators. Carroll going to take it out of bounds. 2.42 left to go here in the third. 37-23 let Senators out ahead. Kuzmeyer feeds the post. Drops it off. That one left short. Goes back the other way with Titan Williams. Off to Cameron. Cameron for three. It's short. Senators going to set up in there. Uh, one, two, two. Press. Comes to the center of the floor, then leaves it off to Harold. Nice job there for him. Gives him four on the day, four in the quarter. 37-25. Rosenbaum at the three-point line, leaves it off to Cameron. In the corner to Brown. Brown feeds it to Rosenbaum. It gets tipped back out top. Kenton Chase says, let's set up our offense again. Let's get moving. Rosenbaum at the elbow, that one good. He now gets into double digits with 10. Hodges off to Harrell, back to Hodges. It's gonna be a three point for Harrell. Kenton Chase with the rebound and off the other way. Leaves it off to Rosenbaum for three. That one no good, he gets his own rebound. One minute to go here in the third, 39-25, Senators ahead. Getting Chase with a quick first step. Gives the ball off to Rosenbaum and then gets it back. Rosenbaum on the far side, back door to Kenton Chase, athletic move and in, good for two for him. Eagles come back, 28 seconds. Feed in the corner. Get the ball into Campbell, then underneath the hall, but gonna be a turnover for them. Hall unable to handle it, that's five turnovers in this quarter. Russell checks in, Cameron out. 12 seconds to go here. Russell brings it up, gets into the paint all the way, goes up and gets fouled. He's gonna go to the free throw line. Six point one seconds to go here. Holden Russell gonna shoot two. Only a thirty-eight percent free throw shooter on the year. That one left short. We're gonna see Ian Rosenbaum check out. Cash Long, the senior, checking in. That one also no good for Holden. Cash going to get into the scorer's book with his first personal. Four seconds to go. Senators in a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press here. Lanesville gets it in to Kluzmeyer. Oh. 
believe they're going to give that one also to Cash Long. So he gets two fouls and then comes right back out. Ian Rosenbaum gets about a 10-second break, only two seconds on the clock, though. Ball comes in. That one up and no good for the three-point buck three-point attempt. So that's going to be the end of our third quarter. Senators lead 41-25. We're going to step aside for a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Back to live action here at Northeast Eagles, where the Senators do lead 41-25. Those of you Eagles fans listening in, the Lady Eagles were victorious 48-27 over Vincennes Reve in their tournament game today at Vincennes. So. Lanesville going to take the ball out on the far side of the court. Comes into Hodges, off to Kluzmeyer. Senators with their starting five out on the floor. Lanesville gets into the lane, Hall kicks it back out to Austin. Lanesville looking to take advantage of some hype down in the post. Nice job there by the Senator defense. Lanesville still working at 45 seconds. They haven't gotten it into the post yet, so there they get it in. Nice bucket there by 32. Jackson Payne with his six. It gets him his season average. Just over a minute gone here in the fourth. 41-27. Chase gives it off to Russell. Back to Chase. Over to Cameron. Lanesville trying to trap here, but unable to get anybody trapped in a, in a position where they can keep them there. They get the hand, they get a hand on the ball, it goes out of bounds. Senator's gonna take it out underneath their own bucket. In comes number three, Eli Guernsey. Rosenbaum out top where the ball comes into him. Moves it off to Kenton Chase around to Russell. Russell gets in the lane and gets run into by, I believe, Guernsey going to pick up that foul. Yep, second foul on Eli Guernsey. First of this quarter. In the camera, back into Rosenbaum, who steps inbounds, and then he turns and throws it away. I just sets the offense back up. Down in the post to Payne, who then throws it out of bounds as Hodge goes about five rows up in the bleachers. Going to be the sixth turnover for the Eagles in this half. 12 total in the game. 41 27, Senators lead. 
Messengers go all the way over the top. Russell, sorry, not Russell. Chase kicks it to Rosenbaum who misses the three. Lanesville out with the rebound the other way. Hall with the ball out top. it off to Guernsey in the corner. A couple of dribbles, nothing going there. Hodges feeds the post. Nice job by Rosenbaum there to body up the post. Nice roll and dish. Good job there by the Eagles. Jackson Payne, eight points. 41-29. Russell jumper on the wing. Good bucket from him. That gets him into double figures. Hall down the lane. Nice bump. Going to be a foul on Kenton Chase. His third. Colton Brown comes in for Titan Williams. Lanesville going to set up underneath. off of, I don't know if that hit Kenton or if that hit Payne, but came off of one. Rosenbaum down the line and one. Nice bucket there by Ian to get 12. He's going to go to the free throw line, try to get him 13 on the night. Afternoon. <laughs> going to be the first foul on Hodges. Rosenbaum steps to the line, 52% free throw shooter on the year. That one hit. Perfect. Titan Williams going to check in. Ian going to go out. It's a three-point bucket by Hodges. Saved in. But then going to be a turnover because the Save went all the way out to half court and out of bounds. So 4.24 left to go here. Ball comes into Russell. Russell gets by his defender into the lane, leaves it off for Titan Williams. Eagles running the other way. Three point miss by them, but they get the rebound. Up and good, 24. Landon Campbell gets that one. Uh, they're going to get Colton Brown for that foul. His second. Senators up 15. Campbell, a 20% free throw shooter on the year. That was good. It's him seven. Then he gets it across half court and then throws on the brakes. Moves it off to tight wings. Back to Holden Russell. Gets it down the lane. Up and good for two for him. Ties him for the leading scorer. Nice bucket there by Jackson Payne. Gets him in double digits. Head on the afternoon. Getting chased down the lane. Leaves it off to Rosenbaum. Feeds Titan Williams. Titan a power move. That one up and good. Gets him eight. Lanesville out ahead. Going to pick up a foul on Titan back on the other side. Does a nice job on the offensive side, but then comes back and picks up his first personal. Going to see Jackson Cameron come in for Kenton Chase. Lanesville throws the ball all the way into the logo at center court. 
Hodges with the ball. Jackson Cameron gets his hand on it. Fights through that screen and then leaves it off underneath. Nice hands there by Titan Williams to knock that one out of bounds. Senators up 16, 50, 34 here in the fourth quarter. Lanesville swings it around. There's a three-point miss. Russell comes out with the rebound. Rosenbaum spins, nothing going. I believe they gave a foul to Titan Williams. Again by Payne, that gets him 12. That's the lead to 14. Senators break the press easily there. They did give that foul to Titan in his second. It'll be a foul on number three, Eli Guernsey. His third. Senators with three point guards on the floor. Russell, Kenton Chase, and Jackson Cameron all can handle the ball very well. Kenton Chase drives and gets his, gets his third bucket of the day. Kenton Chase gets his hand on that as it goes out of bounds. It flips up to uh, Colton Brown's dad. <laughs> That's in his range. He can knock that shot down from there. Titan Williams comes in. Ian Rosenbaum goes out. 144 left in the second half here. One fed underneath the hall. He's unable to corral it. So that's turnover number eight. Titan Williams, nice move. He's now in double digits with 10. Hall back the other way. Kitten Chase just tries to get out of the way, unable to do so. He's going to pick up foul number four. 125 to go. 54 36. Nolan Hall to the line. Misses that first one. Colton Brown out, Ian Rosenbaum in. Oh, able to knock down that second one. Russell off to Kenton Chase. Gonna pick up a foul. I believe they're gonna give that to Hodges. His second, team's fourth. Over the top, Tyke Williams. Kenton Chase goes baseline, leaves it off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum up and good for two, gonna be a block. It's a three point opportunity. Rosenbaum with 15. We're going to get 32, Jackson Payne, his first personal of the day. Rosenbaum going to go to the line. One shot for him. That one up and good. Going to stretch the lead out to 20. 57-37. Ian Rosenbaum comes out of the game with his 16 points, the leading scorer of the game so far. It's a three-point miss for the Eagles, rebounded by Colton Brown.
Hinton Chase going to check out. That one once again knocked out of bounds. Senator's going to retain possession. Into Holden Russell. He gets trapped off to Colton Brown, back to Russell. Brown breaks half court, leaves it off to Cameron. Cameron for three. Misses that one. Eagles 37 seconds left to go. Kluzmeyer for three. He knocks that one in for five. One off to Titan Williams, then Russell gets it across half court, leaves it off to Cameron. Cameron a couple dribbles, hands it off to Russell. Russell back to Cameron. Five seconds to go. Senator's going to be victorious here. 57 40. They're going to win this one. Great job there for the Senators to get their third win of the season. So, like I said, Senators do win 57 to 40. They will play at 7 30 tonight against uh, the host, Northeast Dubois Jeeps. Lanesville scoring breakdown. They are led by Jackson Payne with 12. Uh, Landon Campbell has seven. Braden Hodges has six. Gene Klusmeyer has five. Nolan Hill with three. Harold with four. And Ben Austin with three. Senators led in scoring by Ian Rosenbaum with 16. Holden Russell chips in 13. Titan Williams with 10. Um, Kenton Chase with six, Jackson Cameron with seven, and Colton Brown with five. Senators shooting. They are two of five from two-point range, or two of five from the free throw line for 40%, 11 of 17 from two-point range for 65%, and two of seven from three-point range for 28%. Lanesville, two of five from the free throw line for 40%, three of seven from two-point range for 70%, one of eight from three-point range for 12%, so eight of 18 for 44%. Senators had uh, 10 rebounds in the first half, 10 rebounds in the second half for a total of 20. Had five turnovers in the first half, three in the second half for eight total in the game. Uh, Eagles had nine rebounds in the second half, 10 in the first for 19. And then their turnovers were eight in the second half, six in the first half for 14. So Senators were victorious. We will see them again here at seven, approximately 7.30 in the championship game. Until then, we will sign off and we will see you at 7.30.